Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am planning on to solve a, a programming problem using this. Pro this particular problem is of uh, assembly language, so I'm going to solve it using the using this emulator of H086. I'm going to write this code entirely on assembly language and hopefully it will be of some use to you. So uh, let's get started. <clears throat> so the first thing that uh, like problem, the problem is pretty simple that it uh, asks, asks you to write a program that converts a string to an upper, uppercase and lowercase. So uh, the example is quite clear. If the input string is final, uh, like this is the input string, uh, there will be two uh, like outputs, one being the uh, complete uppercase and one being completely lowercase so that is what I'm trying I'm gonna solve so yeah let's get started so the first thing that uh, obviously if you have been through the 8086 we need to specify the model uh, which model we will be working on uh, supposedly we use the small model because this problem doesn't actually require much memory then we need to specify the stack size uh, so we're gonna specify stack to be 100 this this is just like the basic stuff basic structure of the code so i'm just gonna like you know uh type it down so next would be main proc and i need to move to ax the entire data then move to data segment the entirety of ax and at the end the proc and we want to make that. This is the like the structure of a like you know all almost all uh, ASM codes. So uh, this is the structure that I'm going to use. So the first, firstly, uh, as I can see that there are three uh, three inputs, uh, like three strings. I think I have to use or three arrays because like you know it's a string. String is an array of characters. And uh, I need to like you know use I think I need to use yes I I I will have to use the ASCII table uh, to convert it into uh, from the uppercase to lowercase and to check it if the first string is uppercase uh, or not then I think uh, if 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 it is uppercase I need to store the uppercase in the uppercase array and I need to convert it into lowercase and save the lowercase into lowercase array same goes if it's like you know other way around so I'm just gonna uh, like define some data because I think I'm gonna need uh, three arrays so let's just define three arrays here to be of uh, input one being the input or I'm defining as defined I'm defining those as bytes um then uh, using 50 i always use like uh array of size 50 because i don't think the input length would be more than the, if it is like yeah the program won't work but uh, you cannot imagine a word being 50 characters long anyways uh so i need to find the length of it so length is the equ then uh, in uh, dollar sign minus the input it uh, do dollar signs represents the current uh, position of the stack, and it just like you know uh, subtracts the first position of the uh, this input, so it gets the length of the entire uh, the array. So it's just it will be 50 here, just like you know normal stuff. Uh, then I'm going to specify another called upper, and it's defined by the another 50. Uh, specifying everything to be zero, then length. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna specify it as upper or length of upper. I'm not like you know good at naming variables. Uh, EQU dollar sign minus upper, and lastly the lower. They defined by of dollar sign. Uh, dollars. Oh no, uh, lower would be the defined by of. 50 dup of the of entire of zeros sorry and length of lower would be equ uh dollar sign yeah these are the, i think the three 
uh, three arrays that I am going to need. So now on to like moving the um, things. So firstly, I need to you know get the input from the user. So getting the input from the user is like simple as using the interrupt. Uh, so I need to move a h comma zero one for the input, and I need to call the interrupt twenty one h. And this would take an input and input uh, input character from the user and store the ASCII value of that character in a l. So I need to check from the l. But I this is not one character that I am uh, taking. So I will loop through it fifty times. So fifty times because uh, I have taken the maximum length of the entire string to be fifty. So I am just going to put um, the uh, for looping. I'm going to specify the x to be of length len, uh, and then I am going to loop to top. I'm naming my labels uh, first label as top. I'm going to need more labels, and now to loop around, let's specify loop to top. Mm -hmm. So it, this is going to like you know get all the values from the user one by one in one loop and store it in a l, but each time the loop runs, the AL values will get replaced with new AL values, new values. So we are not exactly storing it. So I exactly don't think I have to store it in the like in here. But um, uh, let's see. So the first thing that I I would have to do is like um, I need a, exactly a counter to measure the how long the actual like this is of like if I take this like this. This is of uh, like you know five uh, characters long this uh, string. So if I if I take this so and if I don't exactly store it to be a five, so it's gonna like you know loop on and on till fifty times, which is a waste of memory and processing. So I need to check if uh, I need to specify a counter first. So I'm specifying a counter to the DL from a, a DL. Let's say it's DL because we're gonna need DL later on uh, when you're we are going to show the outputs. So now also I think I need to specify. Yeah, I need to specify the end of sentence with a return key. A return keys are normally in ASCII. It is the return key is yeah zero D. Uh, yeah, zero D is the return. So I will specify like if. I see cmp uh, al comma zero d h. Uh, we will go to something called a text. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, sorry about that. Okay. So uh, we will go to something called an exit. So we'll exit out of the loop. Uh, then um, I think I need to check if if the input is exactly uh, from the lowercase or the uppercase. So the, yeah, as you can see, the, all the uppercase letters are from the uh, hex values of 41 to around yeah, 5a, and the lowercase letters are 61 to like, you know, uh, 7a. So I'm taking the value of 60, like if the ASCII values of the input are like, uh, taken, ASCII value of the input is less than 60, it is a, an uppercase letter. So that is what I am going to do. So uh, yeah, I need to compare like uh, this is for exiting. So I'm just going to comment it out for exiting out of the loop. Just going to put it here like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to. Sorry about that. Yeah, here. Yeah, okay, good. <clears throat> All right. So next, what I'm going to compare is that if the if the value of AL is, uh, I have to compare the value of AL to 60 H, and if the value is lower, if the value is lower, I'm going to specify to go to an up. Because I can use upper because I've specified it to be an upper, and if the value is greater, go to lower. So it's just gonna specify it like this, and it's gonna loop the top. And oh, we need to also specify the exit. So it's a jump zero to exit here. No, oh, oh, sorry. We need to specify the exit to be like this. And it's gonna exit out of the loop. 
or not? Mm, wait a minute. Now, uh, this is not where exactly I am going to, like, you know, hmm, because, uh, let me think, exit is the point that, uh, I will show the output, so I'm just gonna keep it there, and also, like, after the loop has been done, I will specify it to go to exit. Mm-hmm, okay, so, uh, this is, like, Actually, like you know, comparing the values to be like you know greater or equals to 60h, and uh, then if it is like 60h, like you know, if, if it is up, so we need to define an up, we need to define a low. So in the up, I am going to specify like you know, I need to move. Okay, uh, I didn't use the lea to you know get the. I need two, uh, as, as I need two of, uh, like, these two, these two arrays, so I'm just gonna specify LEA um, DI for the first one, yes, DI, DI for the first one, uh, for upper, and LEA SI for lower. Yeah, uh, specifying two LEAs. So now, what I have to do is to move the first, uh, first, move to the first value I need to move uh, it, it as like you know this this is defining uh, that the value inserted is a, the value given by the user is of upper case so we need to store value to upper so we need to store the value which is al storing the value to and then um, change it to lower value so you can as you can see there is a difference of 20 h so I need to add AL comma 20H to make it lowercase, then add lowercase to the lowercase array. Add this to the lowercase array. Yes, so I need to increase it because of the next, increase the counters, increasing, uh, incrementing DI and DSI uh, because of the next iteration. We're going to uh, target the next uh, position of the array. Uh, I'm gonna do the same thing here, but with some certain changes, of course. And again, saying this low means that the user has inputted a lowercase letter, and as it is a lowercase, it will first be stored inside of AL. Next, it will be subtracted. Twenty will be subtracted, and then the subtracted value will be stored in DI. Yes, uh, increment, increment. That's fine. Uh, again, after these these all are done, this needs to be looped to top because uh, in top it's exiting this loop loop to from here to here, and then when these are done, it's gonna go back and take another the next input from the user, uh, and same goes with here. I'm gonna specify a loop to top. Uh, did I miss anything here? Yes, I need to like next to sh next I need to show the output, so I'm going to use a specific uh like you know predefined functions i call it it's from the uh, it here it's uh, include uh mu eight zero eight zero eight six or inc yes uh let me check if they're all right yeah it is okay good uh now i would like to uh you know show it uh like to the like in output the both of the arrays because after this this is done, uh, when the when the program comes to this exit point, uh, it means that the entirety of the loop has been done, or the user has pressed the enter key here. So uh, when the user has pressed the enter key, I need to show uh, the values to the uh, to the user to the yeah to the user uh, like this the the upper and the lower. So the, I'm just gonna have to you know go through the loop and then you know uh, show the loop using the interrupt showing uh, the output interrupt. So for this reason I have specified the counter or the counter counter, but I didn't exactly count. I guess yes, I do need to count. Like I, I after this I can count. So I can increment BL and BL is my counter. 
So I'm just gonna specify it to be counter. Okay, uh so nice. Uh so um I'm going to loop twice and oh ah uh, the the problem here would be that the, when I'm incrementing the values of ds and di, it's pointing into the end of the arrays, but a v i needed to point in the first position. So if I just you know do this like move a s um, as comma as si comma zero and move di comma zero, it would work in a normal sense. But as uh, the starting value of di and si are not exactly the same because we have defined a lot of like you know arrays top, so we need to specify the first value. The first value would be uh, in this case the si as the si and uh, si would be 64h and the di would be 32h because of it's like you know taking 50 after after 50 is done the upper starts from the 51st value yeah so like after i'm specifying the first values of the like arrays i will specify this thing to like you know make it go to one the the lower uh you'll see what it does like the go to zero comma one means that i am specifying to move the cursor to the location of zero uh like zero width column and first row oh sorry uh zero to row no zero to column first low yes sorry uh so specifying the cursor then i'm going to show it so for, for showing it i'm going to use the counter vl and to loop through it, so using the loop resistor, the counter resistor CX, and giving it the value of BL, uh, BX, or whatever, because it's not gonna, you know, match at all. And I am going to specify another, like, you know, up two things, like, you know, up output, not very good at naming, very, uh, naming labels, so I'm gonna move DL to uh, DI. Uh, di was the first one let me check di was the upper one yes it was so i'm going to use the move a h comma two zero h and then move int 21 h this is going to show the uh show the output and i'm going to increment the di in each loop and of course i need to specify the loop or else the loop won't work so yeah this is output yeah then again moving cx comma bx uh, for that, using the go to x y zero comma two zero comma two, then low output <laughs> uh, move d l comma s i, then move. Yeah, can you see that? No, okay, you can't. Sorry. Um, move a h comma zero two h. Uh, int 21h and then I'm going to increment uh, si in this case and of course loop back, back around to low output mm -hmm. I think we're done there aren't anything else for me to do here it's gonna loop three times like you know how many times it's specified in the bx this will also loop the how many times specified in the bx uh, anything else that I've missed? I don't think I have. Uh, okay, let's run it and see. So no errors. Hopefully, like you know, let's run it and uh, I'm gonna specify slowly the example given in the screen. That's F, then a lowercase i, lowercase n, lowercase a, and lowercase l, and press enter to end it, and it is showing me the the output to be the uppercase like this and the lowercase as shown in the screen here so the code will be i guess available in my github the link will be in the description i hope this helped you understand the problem better if you have any questions or like you know suggestion on how to improve or any other thing that you need you would like to learn uh comment down below and let me know i i love doing these kind of things and i would really like to help you out so yeah, thank you. Please subscribe and share and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.